Okay, welcome back. We're live here in Boston, Massachusetts. This is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's exclusive coverage of HP's uh, Big Data Conference, HP Big Data 2013. This is the Vertica Users Conference. This is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's The Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE, and I'm joined with my co-host. Hi everybody, I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org. We're here in Boston, we're going wall to wall for two days. Uh, John and I are just really excited to be here. Paul Lilford is here. He is with Tableau. Uh, he's a person who works with the channel and, and partners. Uh, Tableau is everywhere. We first, John, remember we first heard about Tableau, <laughs> at least I did, with our friend Abi Mehta yeah. at one, one of the first Hadoop, 2010. Hadoop World. Hadoop World 2010. And he said, you guys know Tableau? And he started describing Tableau. At the time he was with B of A. Um, you guys just, like I say, did an IPO. You know, fantastic to have you on, Paul. Thanks very much. Great, excited to be here, guys. Uh, I'm very excited. A lot of interest yeah. in your sessions and those birds of a feather, you guys are packed house, sold out, no more slots available, the technology sessions. Visualization really is hot. People can collect data, but how they show it is really interesting. That's a hard challenge, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And you know, I, I think one of the things with Tableau is um, because we built our product from a different perspective. Right, we built it from the idea of visual cues and, and, and we're looking at how the human mind works and, and building it from that ground up, we're well positioned in that. But uh, ongoing challenge with the size of data, the disparity of it, and all the sources that are out there. So on what is the biggest challenge you find right now with current customers? Because obviously you guys went public, big successful company now in terms of you know, getting funded as a startup, you get the lift and obviously going, going really supernova as a company. But you got, you know, you're building a big business at Mach 100, it's a rocket ship as everyone says. But there's the market still early and there's still yeah. a lot more innovation coming on multiple data sources, the challenges, making things dynamic, agile, fast, yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, search and all this stuff's happening on the Hadoop side. So all this is going on. You guys have to kind of be Switzerland and work with a lot of folks out there. So, so what are the challenges that you guys face right now and yeah, you know, with so customers and technology change? Yeah, we definitely have a, a, you know, obviously the growth rate and the speed at which we're moving is, is one of them. But you know, I think from a customer challenge perspective, um, John, it's really about, um, you know, the, you know, getting to the, to the size of data, the, all the sources of data, all the scale of things that are out there and, and making good decisions based on it. So, you know, we're obviously a very data-driven company, um, but you know, historically we look at it as most people make, you know, some data decisions, but then they go um, hunch-based. Um, and I, I think the thing with big data that makes big data um, interesting and it's going to make it real is, is all around, um, combining these sources quickly, making more and more data decisions driven at a detailed level. So the scale of it's important, but it's also the, the, the where it comes from. So whether it's social or web, um, third party data, internal ERP data, doesn't matter. It's the joining of all of these things and it's really the thing that I think is going to make the, the EDW space um, something that's consumable for, for business users. So they have three tracks here, business technology and ecosystem. Obviously the technology piece is interesting, you guys are a big part of that with the tech and working with the other tech players, but the ecosystem's new for HP. They have the marketplace going on here with my.vertica.com. You're in the channels business. What is the channel opportunity in general in this emerging space? Because it's a, it's a shifting sand, it's a moving train, yeah. it's a growth market. All those things create opportunities but challenges. At the same time, on top of that, there's a huge services opportunity. Yeah. Um, that channel part is love, because yeah. that means gross profit. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, it, talk about the, the emergence of the ecosystem yeah, so and what, what, who's doing what. You know, so I, I think there's a few, a few challenges in that for sure. Um, you know, one of them is, uh, you know, there's so many players, everyone says I'm big data this, and everyone's kind of glommed onto the big data word and said this is, this is big, we got we to gotta do it. Um, uh, in terms of making it tangible, palatable, and, and simple, which has, you know, been a mantra we've had for a long time, helping people see and understand the data, doing it in an ease of use paradigm that is unmatched. Um, for me, it's how do you keep this complex thing simple how do you, in some ways, hide the plumbing, but then have an ecosystem, a partner base, that actually delivers the scale and speed and, and, and all the things that this means, right? Because the thing with any analytic, if I have to wait for my report, if I have to think about what it's doing while it's doing it, I probably check out and I find another way to do it, right, if I'm a business guy. So how do you keep it simple? I mean, everybody wants to work with Tableau, everybody's integrating with Tableau, every time you go to a conference, there's a new press release, oh, we're doing Tableau, Everybody, everybody's demos uses Tableau. What is it that makes Tableau kind of that gold standard? Uh, and, 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 and how do you make it so simple? What's the secret sauce there? Uh, well, you know, I, I think our mission hasn't changed in 10 years, right? So I think when you look at our mission from the early days, we were probably ahead of where the market was ready for visual. 
Um, and in a lot of ways, I think we've helped create that space. But I think keeping it, keeping it simple and talking about seeing and understand data, that's been part of what Tableau's message is from the very beginning. Connecting to any source, leveraging the data where it sits, allowing you to, to mash it up, do some iterations on it, that's all part of keeping it simple. But then even to the way we interact with partners, um, I, I think we're brutally open with our partners and uh, it's a true partnership, right? So for our strategic guys, we really want to be um, pushing each other to excel and deliver better for our customers and it's a, it's a key part of it. So you guys, I mean, you've been around for a long time, you predate Hadoop, um, and, and so you, you pointed out, Paul, that you, your philosophy was always you know, any data sources, but you couldn't predict what was no. happening with big data and, and, and Hadoop. Subsequent to uh, you know, the big data you know, wave coming on, generally, and Hadoop specifically, how has that, I mean, it obviously has positively affected your business, but how has it changed the way in which you look at whether it's partnering or yeah. has, it, has it created a, a, a need for change or, or were you that prescient that you were able to anticipate? No, I, I mean, I, I don't know that anyone could have anticipated I mean, I, the way it hit. Right. Um, right, but um, you know, I, I, I think the way we've done it is our, 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 our product has been core to what we do. We're a product company first, we're a customer-centric company first. So we've evolved the product as the space has evolved based on customer input. And, and I think because we've stayed on the pulse uh, of that and we're, uh, you know, we like to talk about ourselves as freakishly friendly as a company, and because we've kind of tried to keep that um, mentality even as in, our, in the pace of our growth, um, you know, I, I think we've, we've stayed well on top of it, but we hear it from our partners, we hear it from our customers, and we try to incorporate that into our product. So given that everybody wants to work with you, how do you prioritize, how do you manage all the demand? Uh, maybe yeah. that's the wrong term, but you know, I hate the word demand management. But, yeah. but nonetheless, how do you balance and juggle all the, you know, the, the pressure in your time? You know, frankly, Dave, that's really one of the biggest problems. I mean, uh, uh, I've, I've got a growing base, as do all the uh, other pillars of our channel, so I'm the director of technology partners, I have a global responsibility, and we have partners coming up from every angle you could imagine. But um, you know, I, I think because we our, our mission is clear to us, we don't debate that. This is what we do. We really can focus on what the partner is bringing to the table and how they service the customer. But but that scale issue, I don't know that we fully resolved it yet. Um, I think as we continue this this growth rate that we we're, that we're seeing, um, we're going to have to get better at it. We're going to have to get faster at it. We're going to have to get more agile. I don't think we ever sit back on how it's happened. Mm. I think we now look at you know what's ahead and 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 how to evolve and how to do this better. We, we think uh, only a small percentage of the space has been realized, and uh, we think we've got a a nice um, part of that. But at the same time, it's 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 well, it's, it's true. I mean, what percent of you know actual end users are actually touching Tableau. It's a very relatively small percentage. And yeah, that's so right. Enormous potential TAM ahead of you. So Dave, that's we have, uh, people can't see it here, but uh, Billy Bean is going to give a keynote here. We're going to break for that uh, when he gets on and we'll go in and get some notes there. We can't film it, it's uh, confidential. Uh, there's some proprietary information he'll be sharing. Um, but you can, see, you can hear some of the crowd coming in. It's exciting. Billy Bean, obviously Moneyball, uh, man behind Moneyball. And that's, you know, that's a visualization opportunity. You got, you got you know, crunching through the data. People, whether it's sports or business, you know, talent acquisition, finding customers, servicing yeah. customers, understanding data yeah. is the com com concept of visualization. It is. How to present the data. So, um, again, you guys are in a rapidly <laughs> growing market. Um, congratulations Thank for you. everything. Um, I'd like you to comment quickly about, before we wrap up and get into the keynote, about just about startups out there, other people innovating around visualization. There's not one, there's not one silver bullet, there's a variety of approaches. Yeah. People are taking one, you guys have had a unique one into the human aspect of it, but what are the different approaches to visualization? I see you have the R on one end, yeah. and then you have you know, complete GUI on the other. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think when you look at that one, uh, it, it, it's based on you know maybe your role in an organization or your, your perspective on that. But I, but I think there's a more sophisticated um, you know if you look at the data scientist and the visuals that they may need versus what an IT professional might need versus what a marketing person or a salesperson might need. Um, you know, and our view is to you know we have a tool that we can think can support all of those. Um, but um, you know, as as this evolves, I think you're going to see you know, new visuals come out, whether it's us breaking from the Cartesian grid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're going to see those things, and that creates nice. good noise, bad noise. Yeah. But um, you're going you're gonna to continue to see that evolution in it. So talk about the company. You guys have a show coming up, I believe, right? You have your yes. own conference, user conference, or is that like a conference conference? How's yeah. that? Yeah, so we, uh, we have our um, North American uh, user conference at uh, the beginning of September um, in Washington, D.C. 
Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we uh, are looking for this to be, um, you know, another significant milestone in our company. Um, but, uh, you know, mostly uh, it's a way to interact with our customers, partners, and, uh, you know, um, build a, a, a more uh, violently um, um, wild uh, user base. So first week of September. Yeah. Okay, so, so the, after it's, VMworld. It's the fifth, the fifth through the um, seventh. Eight. Okay. Um, hey, Wolfram, we'll the Wolfram's before. doing a summit down there as well. Yeah. Uh, is that part of the same event? Wolfram Alpha? Um, no. No, but it's in DC, right? Yeah, we're at the Gaylord. How big is that event going to be? Um, uh, we're, we're, we're leaving north of 3,000 is the number I can tell you. We oh, think it'll so it's be, pretty big, it's going to be yeah, big. It, 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 it should be our biggest user event in the history. So we got to talk about getting the cube there, we'd love to cover that. It, it, uh, yeah, absolutely, in DC, because there's such a big big need for yeah. data, analysis, visualization within yeah. the federal government. I mean, it's just, they're big consumers. Yeah, no, it, 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 like it's going to be a fun market uh, to be in because the federal presence will be there and and uh, won't have to travel distances to go. I think they'll attend, and right. and we, uh, you know, we have partners that that service that space well, and and customers that are in that space. And yeah. so, yeah, I think it's going to be a really fun um, event, and uh, you know, I, I think it'll be the the next uh, evolution in our step. Well, we'll have to get you guys uh, management aware, help bring the cube there, tell them. Uh, the Cube wants to be there. We'd like Great. to cover the show. Let us know. Great. Uh, obviously, we'd love to, love to. We're open source. We go where we go where the action is. If there's action, we'll go there. That's great. Paul, thanks for coming on the Cube. Really appreciate it. Again, congratulations, Tableau. Change the game. You're first in with a real innovative visualization. Um, the market just blew up right underneath your underneath your feet. You guys, rocket ship. Continue to innovate. Congratulations, and uh, look forward to, to possibly being at your event. And uh, congratulations on your success. Great. I really appreciate it, John, thanks. Okay, this thanks is theCUBE extracting all the signal from the noise, and there's not a lot of noise here, a lot of signal, a lot of customers. This is HP's, kind of, it's kind of a private event. It's not a big, big conference where they're doing a lot of uh, showboating on the announcements and technology, intimate conversations. Uh, we're capturing some of that hallway conversation, we'll report that back to you when we get the embargo lifted. Uh, but more importantly, great customers, not a lot of lightweights here, all heavy hitters doing some great work. HP Vertica is making some real moves. We'll be right back. In depth conversation, we're going to go watch Billy Bean's uh, keynote. Uh, Dave and I are big fans, we interviewed him. Uh, man, we interviewed him before, remember? We had a little uh, we had social camp? We had, we had Billy Bean on at uh, Oracle Open World. Oracle Open World. You kind of did a you know, yeah. gorilla. That was yeah. a big week for you. Yeah, we like had you gorilla Benioff, you gorilla Billy Bean. We had gorilla Bean. coverage of Mark <laughs> Benioff and uh, Billy Bean. Anyway, we'll be right back. This is theCUBE, I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. We'll be right back after this short break.